Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today we are cutting a whole bunch of rocks. Let's see what we got. I hope you enjoy. Today we're starting off with some agate from the Drum Mountains. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, overall that's actually quite nice. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Here we have one of those flat dugway geodes again. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at those white spots in there. Wow. Okay, well, look at this piece. Oh, that is so cool. But this side, look at that. <laughs> yeah, well, I remember last time I saw one of these, I was like, it looks like a disease or something. So cool, though, those little white dots all over. Oh, that's, that's a cool one. Really cool. Here's some more malachite. Decided to cut it open. And it's just more malachite inside. Kind of cool. I like how green it is. Here we have a nice, more classic Dugway geode. Oh, hey, that looks pretty nice in there, doesn't it? Oh, I like that, yeah. That's a good one. Here's kind of a mine or rock that had a bunch of pirate in it. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's like these little pockets of pirate all through it. That's really cool. This was a long piece of petrol wood. The other side shattered. This side somehow stayed together. And interesting. Not the best colors or patterns in it, but still decent. This is some barite that I don't remember where it came from. But I figured I'd cut it open. Interesting. Well, about what I thought. Just a bunch of barite blades all stuck together. Still kind of cool. Another piece of petrified wood. Looked kind of cool on the outside. Broke right there. Let's take a look on the inside. Interesting. Nice wood pattern in it. Not good colors, but a nice wood pattern. Here we have another Dugway geode. And it's quite nice actually. Look at that. Good banding in it. Good patterns. Yep, I like it. Some Vernon Wonderstone. And nice. Not too bad. I, I like that white line right there. It just kind of really stands out among all the darker ones. So another nice Dugway geode. Thin one. Oh, it's got that white in it. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Very, very nice. Here's some more of that Jasper agate that comes from Tim's spot. That he found. So we cut it. And you can see it's got black and then some nice patterns on it. And then it fractured when I was cutting this, so I cut it again. But that side's really cool because that black pocket. Very interesting. Here's some kind of agate with a green volcanic or something going on. I think it came from Southern Utah. Um, I have to hold one piece. Look at that, you got some, yeah, agate at the bottom. Green at the top, some red going through it. Interesting, and here's the other side. Very interesting. Here's a nice larger geode from Dugway. Ooh, oh yeah, let's look at these one at a time. Oh, nice. Good classic Dugway there. And there's the other side. Really cool. Here's some uh, jasper we found years ago when I was down in Southern Utah. Oh, look at that pattern in there and the color. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Let's look at this one. Wow. Really nice. Look at those. Here we've got some more of the uh, the agate from uh, 
the drum mountains. Oh, oh, look at that one. Oh, wow. Oh, that one's beautiful. Okay, I need to get more like these. Oh, yes. Look at that. It is beautiful. So I cut it twice, that's why. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Oh, such a nice piece. Yep, Drum Mountains. And for the final one today, we've got some more Vernon Wonderstone. And let's take a look at it. Look at that. Beautiful. And the other side of it. Look at that red right there. That's so nice. And then I'll flip it over. Very nice. This is where it becomes chambers. And unfortunately, it started fracturing after that point. So, um, yeah. Didn't go any further in it. That's it for today's episode. Whole bunch of good looking stuff. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you on the next one. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.